Hello everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video on the um, new sound card that I've bought from eBay. It's this sound card, MP3 voice module trigger with small speaker. It's an alternative to the um, big dog sound card. Um, the, big sound co the big dog sound cards are perfectly fine and I will be using those but for a model of this magnitude and stature as you were i've gone for a bigger soundboard for more sound um what this does is you load your sounds or music onto the sd card at um fat 32 format and you can have the songs on as long as you want up to the maximum 16 gig which is hours and hours of music and um, i've loaded nine soundtracks on here from the um Star Trek The Motion Picture Soundtrack um, It's actually running on 12 volts power regulated down to 5 volts which the board requires so you can't give it any more than 5 volts but if it's any less um, you get feedback crackling and all that sort of thing you have a power and a ground pin obviously those go to your positive and negative wires on there to the voltage regulator and then what I've done is you've got uh, another ground pin here and then there's a, another pin called it's CN1 and I've hooked a momentary switch up to that pin because the um, board actually recommends that you go along and touch each pin one at a time to get the sounds to work but I've realised that if you bypass um, the CN1 pin onto the second ground that you can hook a momentary switch up and that is exactly what I've done so you can cycle through the sounds and um, this will be going into the base of the model that I'll be starting to build next week and what we'll do is we'll give you a quick demo and we'll hit the button the first time I'll just turn it down a little bit for the purposes of the demo that is the um, potentiometer for the volume so you can actually turn it up and down I'll have it down for the um, purposes of the demo these songs will play continuously until the end of it um, and then it will stop so you can actually press the button anytime at the end of the song or during the song for the next track um, as I said, this chip, or this SD card holds um, maximum 16 gig. There's only a 8 gig chip in there at the moment. It's really, really, you only need 4, I would imagine. You can get a lot of music on there, the high quality format. But um, all you do is hook this to power, um, load your songs onto the SD card. Hook your speakers up to this port here. I've actually put an extra couple of speakers on there. That'll be going into the base, and that is it. It's as simple as that. And like I say, this white um, lead shaft, I bypassed the need to go along the pins one at a time. And you can just press the button to change the tracks. Just go along one at a time. Plays a maximum of nine tracks, which I think is perfectly fine for the refit base. I've spent a lot of time and a lot of work, effort on getting the refit done. And um, the base is going to be constructed next week, and I just think this would be a really nice addition to add to the base for some sound effects. So, as I said, I bought this off eBay. Um, I made them an offer. I got them for about five pounds fifty. And it's as simple as hooking it up to power and loading your songs onto the SD card and then that's it, off you go. Just a quick run through before I finish the video, the rest of the music. That's it. It's so simple. Maximum of nine tracks.
And that's the final one. Just turn it down a little bit. So, anyone wants any info on these cards, just give me a shout and I'll be happy to help. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.